This week we will consider the image and kernel of a linear transformation. These are very important concepts, a little abstract, but very useful and very important. Now consider a linear transformation T working from Rm to Rn. So this is a linear transformation, so basically T is a matrix vector product where A is an n times n matrix. Yeah, so we can write Tx as A times x. Now the image of T is basically the set of vectors that are reached by T. So it consists of all vectors y and rn such that y is the image of some vector vector under t so y is a times x for some x in rm so this is pretty much what we know of functions in calculus the kernel of the transformation t are basically the zeros of the mapping t. So the kernel is written as cur t is, are all vectors x which are mapped onto the zero vector. So a times x equals zero. So now we defined the image of t and the kernel of t, but usually we don't make any distinction between the image of t or the kernel of t and the image of the matrix A or the kernel of the matrix A. Yeah, see here that we actually defined the image of T through A and here the kernel of T, we define the kernel of T through A. So basically these are usually associated. <coughs> 